Yo, 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 what's good, fam? Welcome to PNP. It's your boy Rashad, one half of PNP, and today we have another entry into the Sauna Walk series with Ian Thomas. Yes, Ian Thomas. Now, before we get into this, man, make sure you hit that like button. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button. Again, hit that like button if you're a returning listener. I'm talking about you subscribed yesterday, or you subscribed last week, or you a day one listener. Hit that like button for your boy. Helps the algorithm pop. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button for your boy. We're trying to get to 15,000 subscribers. We're only 500 subs away. We're so close. Uh, So let's get to it. Let's get to it. Hit that subscribe button for your boy. I greatly appreciate that. Now let's move on. Ian Thomas. Let's get it. Now Ian Thomas, man, this dude is a very polarizing player when it comes to the the Panther fan base. Um, This guy has been, uh, I guess, underwhelming. Uh, in in my opinion, uh, if you look at his stats, 333 receiving yards his rookie year when he was drafted in 2018 uh, by the Ron Rivera regime, and he he hasn't sniffed 200 yards receiving since that year. Like you're talking about 2019, he had 136 receiving yards. 2020, he had 145. Then 2021, he had 188. I mean that's that that's no nobody's game planning for you that's not a you're, you're not a receiving threat um and you're not really being in, in uh, incorporated into the game plan so I, I feel like from a production standpoint he's been very underrated now i will say this he's a great blocker he's a great bl- blocking tight end i'll give you that all day every single day uh but uh, since being drafted, it's just been very underwhelming. And Panthers fans, I, I'll admit, we're a little bit spoiled, right? We had a Greg Olson. Greg Olson was elite, bro. When when Greg Olson was in his prime and healthy, he was elite. He was an elite safety valve for Cam Newton or any other quarterback that was playing at the time. Tight ends are great safety valves. And when you look around the league and you have guys like Darren Waller, you have guys like Travis Kelsey, George Kittle, these, these guys are great receiving threats from the tight end position higby for instance there's got you don't have to be elite you don't have to be in that top tier but be a threat a tight end a great receiving threat tight end does wonders to an offense because of mismatch nightmares and i feel like we just ian thomas has just been underwhelming from a receiving standpoint now let's go ahead and dive into some of these if you're new here to the sign of wall series again we go through these categories age position of value durability asking price and whether the production is replaceable let's go ahead and get into that man and we will go from there now age he's only 26 years old like this guy is is you know just getting his feet wet uh he he was drafted young he's only 26 years old so he checks that box rather easily and can still develop into a solid tight end position of value now i have tight ends are generally not uh valuable when it comes to when you rank the positions of value. However, when you have a good one, like they're super valuable. So I, I can't say that, you know, they're not valuable at all. Um, so I wish I could have had this like yellow because again, when you have a, a great elite tight end, they're really valuable. But when you don't have one, you know, it's like, all right, we can we can make it without one, but it's kind of, you know, it, it's, it's tough. So that's why I have it in red because it technically it's not. I'm, when, you, when you look to go pay a player, um, you know, if you're not an elite tight end, you're not really going to get that, that, that great money. Uh, and so again, like I said, you, you can make a, a very valid case, um, that tight end is a position of value, but in this instance, I don't think it is when, when you talk to, uh, when you're talking about Ian Thomas durability. Now, the interesting thing with, with him is that he's never missed a game. He's never missed a game, bro. Like he's never missed a game his entire career. His four-year career, never missed a game, which it, it, it boggles my mind why the production is so low. Why is this man not being uh, like incorporated into the game plan? I just don't understand. So it's, it's mind-boggling to me how he's never missed a game. So he checks that box. He checks that box. Now, asking price, Ian Thomas shouldn't be asking for a lot of money, you know, maybe a million, couple million, uh, but he should not be asking for a ton of money, uh, and that's that's pretty much it. Now, is his production replaceable? Yes. Uh, you can find a blocking tight end to do uh, a lot. And I feel like Tommy Trimble has already made headway to replace Ian Thomas. I feel like the Panthers were preparing to let Ian Thomas walk uh, by drafting a Tommy Trimble. So I think Tommy Trimble is the perfect blocking tight end replacement. And he also offers that fullback, uh, you know, kind of 
uh, running back, um, uh, you know, uh, role that maybe t Ian Thomas can't fill. Ian Th Tommy Chum have also seen more as a receiving threat from Tommy Trimble than I've seen from Ian Thomas. So I think Tommy Trimble, they already started working their way into replacing Ian Thomas by drafting a Tommy Trimble. I would also encourage the Carolina Panthers to draft a tight end in this year's draft. This draft tight, this draft class, um, this tight end draft class is pretty solid. It's pretty solid, bro. There's some guys you can get later uh, that can, you know, contribute, especially from a receiving threat. Guys like Charlie Kolar, uh, I like a lot. Um, there's other guys, uh, the tight end from Iowa. There's a lot of good tight ends. Laporta. There's a lot of guys that you can go out and get, and, you know, they'll be good receiving tight ends. So is his production replaceable? Yes, I think it's already been replaced by Tommy Trumbull. And then I think that we need a receiving threat from a tight end position. We need a guy that can go out there and get it done from a receiving threat. Let's move on. All that said, I think that Ian Thomas should walk. Uh, I think, again, very up and down. Career, well, not so up and down. It's just been very black. Like, it's, it's his whole career with the Panthers has just been blah. And I wish he's shown flashes. I'm not going to say he hasn't shown flashes because he has. He's shown flashes. I just think that we should not be, you know, if this is where we're looking to pinch pennies, this should be where we're pinching the pennies and let Ian Thomas walk. Just my opinion. Personally, I think he can go. Um, but, you know, I think, again, Panthers have already started progressing towards that direction of letting him walk. I just think they need to execute. Like I said, if we're pinching pennies, this should be where, this uh, is a position where we should do it. Uh, so that being said, let him walk. I want to know what y'all think. Like, subscribe, notification bell. I'm out.